me is he won't hit me. So I guess there's no need to ask you about Bang Ludwig saying earlier in the show that he's going to knock you out in the second round. No, it doesn't mean anything because Dwayne Ludwig is the same guy who told Benavidez, just keep going forward on Demetrius Johnson. He doesn't sit down on his punches. He can't knock you out. What happened to Benavidez? Yep. He got knocked out. And that's because Dwayne Ludwig told him, don't worry about Demetrius Johnson knocking you out. Just go forward. He doesn't hit hard. Dwayne Ludwig could learn something from me. Dwayne, I could be Dwayne Ludwig's coach. That's straight up. And so could Eric Del Fierro. So he either needs, he is smart. The smartest thing TJ Dillshaw ever did was leave Team Alpha Male because there's, he's not going to be able to do nothing with those guys. Ludwig already said that. He already told Alpha Male that. They got all sad and started crying about it on Twitter. But I see the same thing that Dwayne Ludwig does, and that's what D- TJ Dillshaw sees also, and that's why he's not at Alpha Male training anymore. He's up in Colorado. Well, he is doing a little bit there, but I get your point. Yeah, so, I mean, that's what I'm trying to say is he's talking about that, but how do you knock somebody out who doesn't get hit? Let me ask you this final thing. Uh, Perfect world, I've I've heard some theories thrown out. Oh, you should get a warm-up fight. You've been out, this and that. When you're 100%, you want the title shot, right? Of course. No more. I fought Mizugaki when I came back after that I was out three years. That was two ACL injuries and a torn quad. Three injuries back to back to back. So after that, I just wanted to make sure I could get in the, in the role of things. That was three years. This one has been nine months. You see, that's nothing compared to three years. This will be a cakewalk compared to what I went through before. I eat ACL surgeries for breakfast, man. <laughs> this is nothing. I'll be coming back strong as ever, looking just as sharp as I did against Mizugaki, and I'll be winning my belt back. And when I win it, it's not going to be for me anymore. It's going to be for everybody who thinks that people are counting them out. That win's going to be for everybody who says, you know, you can't do something. Just all you have to do is believe you can do it yourself. That's the only thing you have to do is just believe that you can do it. And then all everybody else says is just a bunch of crap. Dwayne Ludwig talking a bunch of nonsense about knocking me out. He doesn't know anything. Have you heard him on an interview? He's stuttering the whole time. The guy's been hitting his head too much already. Well, the bottom line is, these guys don't understand what I bring to the table. They don't understand the style I bring. They don't understand any of it. They think they do, but everything is a trap. I'm going to trap TJ, and he's going to get slept. Sweet Mother Mary. Wow. Dominic, I have missed you. I have missed this, Dominic. This is, uh, this is amazing stuff. I said earlier on the show, this is the fight. This is the best stylistic fight that the UFC could put on. And it's one of the most interesting, fascinating fights that, you know, I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. And uh, now you've made me want to pay. I would pay all the money to watch this fight. Wow, you have just gotten me so damn excited for this. I wish we were in January right now. Uh, amazing. I love the fire. I wish you nothing but the best. I can't wait till you return to your 100%. As I said on the show, I'm praying to the MMA gods everything goes all, wa- all, all well with you and that you can come back and we can finally see this thing. Uh, thank you so much for coming on. I know you're probably tired after PT. I really, truly appreciate it, and I wish you the best, my friend. You know, Ariel, I just want to say one last thing to Please. everybody who you know, agrees with TJ, agrees with all these guys saying, you know, Dominic's just going to get injured again. I can't control that at all. I'm, doing, I'm working as hard as I can to be a world champion, and I'm doing everything I can to make that happen. I'm training as safe as I can, and I'm doing everything I can. So that's all I'm going to continue to do. I will get in there healthy. And the bottom line is I always follow through with my word. If there's anything you can look back at throughout my career, it's when I say something, I do it. So keep a lookout because I'm going to school TJ Dillshaw, and he's going to stay number two. Wow. Love it. Thank you, Dominic. I appreciate it. Thanks, Greg. Have a good one. Wow. Holy moly. Dominic Cruz. That was unbelievable. I have never heard Dominic Cruz like that. Have you ever heard him like that? 